welcome back everybody so let's have a look at what happened between the last episode and this one now we've jumped to Kanat. it's a half skull calm star planet let's just quickly look at the navigation here it was a good distance but it was only like 15 days or something where were we here i think we were here yeah no where were we we were back here i think yeah stick we jumped over here it's 15 days away um we're at Kanat now and uh half skull nice world um there wasn't really anything in the store for us to buy here but um that being said on the way here we were able to get our mechs updated slightly so i'm gonna take you through them and just show you quickly what i did here so um the talo the, sorry the talos we pulled up the chem, chem lasers that were in the arm and the and the ammo for the chem lasers and just put medium lasers in it's the same damage for more heat um same range so just drop those in and put a tag barrage in here um so yeah our heat efficiency isn't the best um obviously but we're not going to be firing everything all the time anyway so we should be okay for now once i can get a double heat sink kit or something for this thing uh we'll be better off but right now this is kind of where he's at um so the medium lasers will allow us to fight beyond you know the number of turns that we've been <laughs> we've been fighting currently the uh uh, trebuchet we put the endo steel in here we pulled the SRM 6 out of the um, Jenner and we dropped it back in here with the tag barrage with the actual weight that we had the armor is not so bad we added a little bit of armor but not much mostly to the back because I want to use this guy to close in with the enemy uh, it is a closer range mech so it's going to be and it's actually relatively fast with the 250 core so we're going to use this as a close range mech I think what we're going to do though once we get a couple of um, half decent long range missile racks is I'll switch this guy to an LRM boat pull the 250 core out put that in the Talus so the Talus can close um, but right now we're gonna go with this the heat sinking on this is actually pretty good so uh, yeah I think we're good with this guy and then I completely changed the Jenner around let's have a quick look here um, so we put four flamers in this thing uh, and I pulled out the SRM 6 but put an LRM 5 in which we bought in the store and a half ton of um, dead fire ammo so we've got you know 12 turns of dead fire firing with this thing uh, it is still a fast mech uh, we have two jump jets because we're gonna need a little bit of maneuverability I think with the flamers in here but we put Pharaoh and endo in here just so we could get max it out uh, a little bit of extra armor but not much particularly back armor went up a little bit uh, so hopefully this guy will work out well we put the ECM in here with the plus one defense which I think we did before um, because he's gonna be a close range guy so uh, that's good to have him in here and then the locust 3v which we, we've been running with um it had we put the uh, the uh, tag barrage in here but i pulled it off of this guy put the medium laser back in uh, and then in the locust 1v changed it slightly we pulled out the me regular medium laser in the center torso and put the pirate medium laser in just to give it a little bit more punch we'll probably run this guy today with the machine guns uh, I want to try and get in closer with the with the enemy and see what these machine guns do. But this uh, medium laser here in the center torso is going to help out a little bit. Damage is, you know, plus or minus 11. But it's got plus one accuracy to it as well. So this guy is going to run relatively heat efficient overall. Um, but we'll see how it goes. Because the machine guns aren't going to be firing all the time. When we're too far away, they're obviously not going to fire, right? So we should be okay. So let's jump into a battle. The pilots are all back. I'm just quickly looking at the barracks here. Um... The uh, uh, R-Fair is on, it's 5 and 5, uh, Arc Light the same thing, Pilot Gunnery, uh, and then our two other pilots down here, the guys that are going to be with us are the same way, uh, Dust Rakers once again are melee pilot, we're going to keep going along the melee line for him, but currently right now we don't have a, a, a mech that he can run, so we'll just leave him out of the battles for now. Alright, so Command Center. And I think what we want to do, there's a lot of like lower level missions here, but I think I want to go right to the end and go with Wolves today, defend base. Uh, this should be relatively, I don't want to say easy, but easier one and a half skull mission because it is a defend base. The 417 will give us good salvage. And then we've got a few missions here um, that we can take later on um, in another episode, but uh, we've got a few more missions that we can take here. So hopefully, hopefully we get some good sea bills and stuff out of this one, which will allow us to, to, uh, uh, roll over into these so we don't have to worry too much about our financial report because we're almost at 400,000 now so all right let's negotiate this I'm going to go full salvage plus we need more replicoms there it'd be nice to get up over the the uh, liked um, 
thing here. So let's go this way. And we're going to play the standard Lance. Actually, we're going to, we said we were going to bring in the other Locust this time for Witness. So let's roll this. Yeah, I think we'll be fine. Okay, here we go. Ten turns of fun. Looks like it's just us and the turrets and a couple vehicles. So this should be interesting. Hopefully we have good turrets. And this is actually a good base for defend for the defend base mission. Uh, as long as oh, looks like we got a, we have more guys than just us, which means this should be good for us. Got a hitman on our side, a line holder. So hopefully this side will be clear once the reinforcements arrive. So we're going to have guys up here and then guys here. So I'm going to handle these two sides and let hopefully these guys handle whatever comes in on this side. And hopefully we get some good stuff. I hear you. Can I get a witness? Let's get your asteroid up here. Uh, let's get down here. We can do some scouting. We're going to get the Jenner up right beside you. Oh, Bushwhacker. Ooh. At least he's not shooting at me. At least he's a lousy shot, too. All right, Arclight. Yeah. we got to see what else we're up against here. Let's get into here. I think we're out of range for the... Oh, we only got the barrage. All right, we're going to hold off. I don't want to waste it on an 11% chance to hit until we see what else we've got at this end. Alright. GV. Can you get... Oh, you can. But you got flamers, so... Um, it's been a while since I've played an overheater mech. Let's get you... Um, let's get you down here. Okay, I don't see anybody else yet. Yeah, hit him. Hit him where it hurts. Um, let's try and stay off the road so the vehicles can get back here. Alright. Yeah, shoot him. Come on, guys, get to the turrets. We're not, we're not blocking them. They can get through there. They can get through there. Yeah, it's going to take another turn, though, I think. Keep hitting them, guys. No, 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 don't go over there. Stay where you are. Stay where you are. So if we can get some stuff off the bushwhacker. Be kind of nice if there's actually another bushwhacker we can put together at least sc score at least four parts of it. But I'm probably going to go for tech again unless we can complete like a heavier mech than a 20 ton. Because these locusts, I mean, I, it did okay in the last battle. I'm kind of shocked that it survived as well as it did. We only lost a leg, but it was so close to... Stop shooting me in the back. It was so close to losing the other leg too, right? So, I know, I know we've got a backup locust, but I'd rather not lose a mech, you know? If we can get one... I know we need five pieces, but if we can get one, then... Um, we can put both of these guys in storage for now. Save a few sea bills. The last thing I want is that damn bushwhacker unloading in me, but I gotta find out what else the what else is up here. Yeah, it sounds like it. But you can't see any of them. Really? Really? 
Okay. I better reserve, man. I have no idea what's over there. Come on, goblin. Get to where he's going. Oh, we got two choppers back here. They deserve a barrage. But we're too far away for that. Can I get a hitman? Just keep plinking them. There's our turrets, baby. Now, as long as they don't shoot me in the back, I'll be happy. Keep plinking them for those fives, man. Keep plinking them for five. I'll take that every time. Especially at that distance. Like, you figure most of the time that we've been at that distance trying to shoot somebody down here, it's been like a 0.9% chance to hit. So if we can hit for five every single time with the, one of those launches, I'll take it. Like, you know. Okay, good. He's not doing anything. So let's come around here. Those two choppers have vanished. Uh, Arc Light is most likely going to be the one that's going after those choppers. But let's get... Uh, I almost don't want to be on the road. It's a better chance to hit from here, though. Let's get into here. I know we're opening ourselves up to an attack here, but I want to go in. going to load up some Inferno. We're going to use the Barrage on them and hammer them. We hit behind him? Oh, wow. That's okay. That's really far behind him. <laughs> it's in the middle of the next map board. All right, cool. Damage him. Now, she should have four chevrons. Of, yeah, she does. Okay, good. A Venar. It's going to be a blood donor in a second. Get over here. Okay, a couple things. Let's turn off these guys. We're saving those for something we need to kill fast. That can come off. Uh, we got lots of ammo for the rifle. So let's go with uh, this one. Well, it doesn't have that much armor. See, like what I mean, 0.9. Oh, dead fire is much, much better. Oh, yeah, someone... Uh, I, um. Somebody mentioned to me, uh, and I, I can't remember who it was, I apologize. Um, somebody said that um, using dead fire against um, targets that uh, have AMS is much better. Thank you for the tip. I'm going to try and make sure I do that more often. I guess it's because they've got, it's like they're closer range and they're harder to target. Um, I, I'm not exactly sure why, but I'm, uh, I'll try and make sure I remember that and do it more often. Wow, eight points. Well, I like to say I take eight every time, but not from me shooting. Ooh. Get him. Get him. Ace pilot your way out of there. All right. Uh, second chopper. Do we want to go after... Okay, flamers need to be relatively close to be really effective. So let's get into here. And let's go after this guy. Can't use flamers on choppers, eh? Really? Uh, bees out of range for these? Really? Well, let's just fire the dead fire at that guy then. Better chance to hit. I'll take the six, sure. I need to read the descriptions a little more often. But you know me in reading, guys. I have a hard time with, with reading. I think I mentioned this before. I'm one of those people that tries to read a book. I get down to the end of the page and I'm just like, what the hell did I just read? I read one word and my brain goes off in a different direction. So while I'm reading and I'm thinking about something else, and then, uh, ooh, ECCM, eh? And he's got a Pegasus back there. Okay. Um... My brain goes off and thinks about something else. 
while my, my mind is still reading the page and I get to the end of the page and my active brain is like dude what the hell did you just read man you were thinking about this I'm like I don't know and then I have to go back and reread the page all over again which is one of the reasons why I don't read books and stuff I just can't do it I've tried I've tried I've tried I just can't I mean you've seen me play this game and be like derp alright uh, let's get you um, jumping better I think sprinting is probably better yeah way better let's go uh, it's not quite the best keep forgetting how close these flamers need to be I don't want to get that close because I don't want to get hit by friendly fire all right let's target this guy uh, let's go for the overheating Okay, plus 18, we'll take it. Yeah. I mean, this guy's really the threat, right? So, that's why we're going after him with a vengeance. Inferno ammo, absolutely. Beautiful. Starting to get toasty. So after this round is when the reinforcements arrive. On you, Can I get a witness? Can you not target this guy? Uh, I guess not. I was about to call bullshit on that, but I think this rock is in the way. All right. Uh, hey, what the? get around behind him it's gonna help out a little bit and can we do machine guns have variable rate of fire well they do with increased heat I'm, I imagine as well let's go to five and five we got ten turns of fighting so we might as well just use the ammo all right yeah right, we'll take it at least the laser hit Come on, where's your five? Where's the five? Yeah, he's trying to cool off. We're going to cook him. We'll keep on him with the Jenner. No, no, you want to go back the other way, guys. The other way. Our lousy chances to hit are killing us here. Hopefully we can get some half decent targeting computers. I want to look for, I mean, if we don't get any, like, good weapon salvage out of this, I want to look for some targeting computers, uh, good cockpits, things like that, out of this if we can. Double heatsink kit would be awesome for this guy, for the Talos. But we need a couple of double heatsinks with it as well. I think we have the space to put it in pretty sure we do we might not though we may have to double check that but well, we're close to clan Burrock too so we can hop over there and pick up some clan stuff once we start getting a little bit more solid here we'll have to be definitely be taking half skull clan missions that's for sure but it'll be interesting to see like half skull warlord what that what that actually equals compared to the inner sphere. Like I know we'll be facing five max instead of four per lance, which in itself is a little more difficult, right? With 25% more enemies, it's always more difficult. Um, but with clan gear, having to drop it down to half skull, I mean, I don't know. We'll go, we'll, we'll go try it and see what happens. But like I said, we need a little bit more gear before we can do that. Sounds like you shot somebody in the back. Um, it's a chance to hit on this guy. Pretty damn good. Let's take it. Just in case you were wondering, on the hills back here, there was another unit, which is where I, where I shot that, that uh, Sable round at. If you missed it, well, you know. Sorry. But there is someone back there. Alright, you're getting yourself into a good position. Reinforcements coming next turn. Yeah, I'll take that five every time. Take the five every time. 
it's better than you not doing anything or being a centurion and turning your back to the enemy and getting killed that last episode man I still I still can't get over that centurion does good damage then just reveal just turns his back to the enemy and gets and gets himself killed as long as we stay out of range I'm hoping staying behind yeah All right, what do we got on this side? We've got Commando, Arenia. I'm, I know I'm pronouncing that wrong. Enforcer, not bad. It's been a while since we've seen an Enforcer. Spectre and a Jenner X10. Looks like they got full armor. I'm gonna fire at this guy straight out. We got a machine gun jam, but we're fine. We're gonna fire with everything else. Enemy Miss with the laser. Because of course we did. What's this guy? Locust. Just not going to let me move, huh? Just decided you don't want to let me move. I didn't mean to hit down. Brig! Well, that's fine. Now the chopper will turn and shoot at me. Great. Wonderful. Okay, we got exposed structure. He's cooling off pretty quick, but we got a back shot now too, so hopefully we can capitalize on this. Let's get ourselves out of the trees. That's really crappy chances to hit from behind. Oh, two flamer hits though. Nice. If we can keep him toasty, then I shouldn't have to worry about his ass until he's dead. And all we have to do is worry about salvage. All right, what kind of turrets do we have here? Looks like a Goss turret, maybe? I should have checked that out. Goss turret, looks like. Point defense, well, that's useless. They better not all be point defense. That's going to suck. Standard quad gun, okay, that's good, but it's in the wrong position. Is this guy... Unknown. Come on. Sniper turret. Well, that might be handy on these guys. If it can get target at them. I don't know if these buildings are in the way. Yep. Alright, Arclight. You know what to do. You know what to do. Good chances to hit. Taking them. Beautiful. Maybe we can get him to bail out. That would be nice. So with the extra SRM-6 um, in here, we're using two more missiles per turn. It's not going to affect this battle, but in other battles we'll have to watch our ammo a little bit. I mean, we got two tons total. A ton of standard and a ton of non-standard. And that's what, like, 60 is five turns, six, seven... Eight turns. Eight turns of firing per. So it's like 16 turns of firing. It's not too bad, I guess. So what do we got down here? An Apollo, a Spider, a Panther, and a Locust. Let's not engage them quite yet. I know it sounds, sounds silly to, to not engage right away, but I want to get rid of these guys so we don't have to worry about this side. And we'll fire on this guy. Engaging. Beautiful. Ooh, he's got a clan light tag, so hopefully we can pick up something like that. Maybe there's a couple pieces of clan gear that would be nice. I want to know what's in this guy, though. If this is the rocket whacker. Keep hitting him. Keep hitting him, make him bail. We're woefully out of position here, but... It's fine. There you go. Go hold the line. Not this line. Other line, guy. Other line. I wonder what's in the Risk Pegasus. You know what would also be nice? I'm blabbering right now, but MMLs at this point. MMLs, I think, would work great in the uh, trebuchet. Like, even if we get a pair of MMO5s, right? 
we can put some LRM ammo in, some SRM ammo in. Okay, come on. Both of our um, locusts are almost identical. The three V is a little better because it's got a, uh, um, it's got support hard points, whereas this gun, the other one doesn't really. Oh come on, shooting your own damn building, dude! If these buildings fall down because of you, let's hope it wasn't one of the good ones. Doesn't look like it. I don't know what you shot. Oh, I forgot. That's right. The AMS can be used like machine guns as well. Is that our other turret? The unknown turret? Could be a uh, Thunderbolt turret. That'd be nice. These guys didn't move. It's interesting. Oh, you missed again with the laser, you little... not be by the uh oof let's not be where those other guys can see us and just back up okay now they're starting to move I'm gonna rotate with uh shoot this guy in the back please I'm gonna rotate with um our fire is on in a second. Oh, beautiful. A critical hit. Nicely done. All right, time to get over to the other side now. Just in case this guy decides to shoot. Let's get in the trees. I think we can handle that, that with the Jenner now. No, 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 no. I think you're going to get away with that, do you? Well, you probably are. Oh, wait, was it the Panther that shot with the PPC on the building? It could have been. I thought that was our turret that shot, but maybe it was the Panther last time, because it looks like he's moved forward. Well. LRM-5 Zeus's. Okay, interesting. Interesting. Get that chopper. Or not. Oh yeah, he shot already, sorry. I take it back, you're not that lousy. I want to target this Apollo, but he's got to move first, I think. Might be nice to... Um, Get some melee weapons for this Talos. So when we get overheating, we can just get in and just pummel people. Okay. Because we do have one, we do have one hand for melee, which is good. Uh, I think we got to take this Panther first. I don't know what I don't know if the Paul is full of LRMs or what. Oh Jesus Christ. Now we gotta get over and attack that guy. What the uh point defense couldn't shoot down the PPC blast? What the hell? I blame it all on him. He's got the double shot uh, PPCs. So he's most likely not shooting next turn. 10x Spectre. Enforcer's got the AC-10. Nice. Gauge these guys, please. Yeah, I don't know. 
I think we um, I think the Talos needs to move in here and we need to move the trebuchet and the Jenner this way okay he is the missile version but he's not targeting buildings right now so that's okay We have enough defenders, they're just not in the right position. And neither am I, so I don't know why I'm complaining, but whatever. I could leave our Locust here to try and finish this guy off. Come on, shoot somebody. There you go. What are you doing? Yeah, he's using the ECCM. I'm not going to waste a Talos turn on that guy, though. He's really the only guy we got with good firepower, so I can't waste it on that guy. Stop shooting me. Watch those heat levels. Yeah, I know. Okay, get in the trees because we're going to be going after these guys. Wow, it's a really low chance to hit. Bad on this one too. Um could just use the barrage but I think we take shots at the spider this turn and firing yeah well at least he'll turn to look at us hopefully you just kill our own mech you just kill our own guy are you serious what the hell I don't even know what to say. I should almost turn off friendly fire, but it's so comical now that it's like you can't not can't not turn it on. Or you know what I mean? It's like I don't know. <laughs> he just blew up his own guy. That's for sleeping with my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Now this guy, how is this guy's armor? 35 tons. Um, it's not 80 total armor. Gotta have more than 80 armor. I live to serve. No shooting, just running. Locked on target. Waiting on you, Commander. Come on, witness. Finish this guy off. Moving to position. Machine gun still jammed, huh? Roger that. Whole lot of nothing. That laser's never going to hit. It's supposed to be plus one accuracy. It's plus one nothing right now. Yeah. Uh... Fifty percent chance to hit for forty damage. Oh, I don't know, guys. What do you think? Damage. 
Oh, those guys are trying to run. Well, this guy took a fair bit of damage. Mostly turret damage. We'll hit him with incendiaries next turn, see if we can kill him. Oh, he must have a rifle. It's the old uh, periphery panther with the uh, PPC missing and the rifle replaced it. Re or sorry, the rifle in its place. Somebody's got a pulse laser, really? It's got the range? Well, we are help helping Comstar, so... Okay, if these guys can bunch up, I'm going to use the barrage. But we're going to target a mech and hopefully get the rest of them. Hopefully we can get a hit. Is that the Apollo's turn? It didn't do anything? Or am I... I think I was just focused on the Apollo. Something... Somebody didn't do anything. Don't know who it was. This guy's so toasty, man. Nice. Just don't shoot your fellow teammates in the back. That's all I ask. We're on round 15 now. Is it the Apollo? Somebody moved. Oh, it could have been the Locust over here. Still phase 15. What have we got left here? Uh, we got the sleep near. The carrier. Yeah, thanks for showing up. Two must survive, four remain. So we, they can kill two buildings. That Irenia just decides to overheat itself. It could do two buildings in two turns. Well, maybe not. It'll have to cool off one turn. It'll shut down, restart, and then blast another building. Okay, so who do we got left here? Phase 14. This guy's going on 10. That's our guy. He's like right in on this guy here, right? No idea when these guys are going. This enforcer didn't do anything last turn, I don't think. Or I probably missed it. What else do we have here? That's it, really. Okay, good shooting. Oh, that's th theirs. Good shooting on us, then? Now, that was what? That was this guy? No. Yeah, it was. No. The Enforcer. The Irinia just stood there. He's cooling off. If we can get GV over there, I might be able to sh keep that guy shut, shut the hell up. But he's got a long way to go. Okay, those guys are bunching up now. Beautiful. Well, you got six of them. Now, do we fire and then maneuver, or do we close? Maybe we go against this guy. I think so. Yeah. Let's go on the spider. Gonna leave the rockets off. We're gonna save those for the Apollo, but we're gonna blast this guy with everything else. And firing. I think we were short on that. Oh, maybe not. Nope, we weren't. Beautiful. Let's close. Nice. So we've got those guys tied up. Oh, that's nice shooting. So now we just really just got our turrets left. A couple, maybe a couple of vehicles. The uh, LRM carrier here, or the light carrier. This thing got on it. Oh, three mortars. The mortar carrier. Uh, 
That's not bad. Last the damage. The last splash never hurt anybody except for the enemy. Oh, we do have a PPC turret. It must be the sniper turret. Okay, there's a Thunderbolt turret. Point defense. Oh, that's not bad. Okay, that was their spider. It looked like he was missing an arm. What can I do for you? Let's uh, target this guy, please. Machine guns back up. Taking the taking the shot. Okay. Mm, I don't think he's gonna like it, but he sure as hell gonna take it. We can't wait. He's got to just, uh, he's going to stay there. GV's just going to run. We're going to sprint it up over to the other side here. Yeah, we're just going to sprint up this way. I don't think we'll be able to engage this turn, except well, we, we might be able to get the dead fires on long range on one of these guys. If we can get into here, I shouldn't really stay in front of this guy because this guy's propensity for shooting people in the back apparently now seems to be well known across the inner sphere. Oof. Um. Did we go into the... F we don't think we went into the fire, did we? We're on the edge. No, we're in it. Crap! I thought we were on the edge. Damn it! That was dumb. I can hear you guys moaning and rolling your eyes. I can hear it! Don't think I don't know. I'm doing the same thing. I'm like, what the hell? What the hell, dude? It just looked like from here that she was right on the edge, but no. The inner edge, maybe, but not the outer edge of the fire. Okay, GV, I need you to get the hell over there, please. Stay in the trees. Do we actually have range on this guy with dead fire? Wow, that's amazing. Although I think we should shoot at this guy. I'll take five. I'll take it. Oh, they're coming back now. Great. We're only on s turn seven, too. Okay. Our affair is on. He's pretty badly damaged. This pretty good shot on this guy. Really lousy on this guy, though, eh? I mean, if we unleash the rockets, we might be able to neutralize this guy. Um, that's the other side where he's taking damage, but this is the arm that's got the... Uh, the heavy rifle. That could give us the arm. And it would neutralize this guy, or, or, very big or. It's a little better on him. 23 is not bad. Got to watch out for that locust, though. He's over there, too, still. He's not moving, so I'm not that worried. All right, uh... Let's see if we can get the kill on this guy. What's his back armor like? A lot of internal structure. Uh, let's say, like I said, let's save the rocket for the Apollo. Um, 
Let's go with dead fire. Let's fire this. Here it comes. Yeah. We really needed to, to land that uh, medium rifle hit, but it is what it is. Thought about putting the uh, ER large laser that we have on this guy, but we w wouldn't be able to sink the heat. There's just no way. All right, what do we got going on now? Oh yeah. That's really, that's what, the third kill? <laughs> We're doing so bad. Oh. Well, it's only face sets. Three and three, three down and three turns, I guess. Maybe we can kill that yellow jacket. Maybe. Unlikely. We, we left him alone for now, so. Oh, here he is over here. Yeah, Paul is backing up. It's like, nope, 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 nope. Yeah, we haven't shot the locust. So I don't expect him to shoot at us. I really hope one of these guys kill the uh, the Pegasus. Don't know what he's got on him. This guy's got an ECM suite, so it might be worthwhile killing, making sure we kill him to get the uh, ECM suite out of it. Be nice to have another one of those. That plus one defense on GV, on the uh, Jenner, plus four chevrons of evasion is nice. When I can get that up to five chevrons, that'll be even better. Okay, chopper's still going. Oh, Pegasus is moving in. Well, not really. He's not in a good position, so we're going to let him go. I mean, if we get a chance to kill him, we will, but we'll let him go for now. I'm going to focus on this chopper. I think with the ECCM gone, it'll probably help out these guys a little bit, because his circle's pretty big right now. Ooh, nice. Ooh, head hit too. But the spider's got his medium lasers and his CT, so it's not like, unless you kill him, you're not really gonna stop him from fighting. Okay, arc light. All right, we're dropping heat, so let's go with... Jeez, can't do that, can we? we can go with that. Let's do this. I have the advantage. And get the guys that are over there. Negative damage. You got their scouts. I mean, the, the hills, the guys that are spotting. Guys with the sniper rifles that are killing their soldiers. You got them. That's all that matters. Started a forest fire. Can I get a hit man? Standing by. That's the Arania there. I don't like the idea of like Having these guys at my backside. <sighs> our guys, that is. Not the enemy. <laughs> our guys at our backside. That's, although that's pretty damn good on this guy. Let's move in. Let's do it. 30 on this guy. 56. 20. 
I'm going after him. Let's use it all. Wow, only one flamer hit. See, they're hitting their own vehicle too, like... That's why I don't want to be too close. I hear ya. What do you think, buddy? Um, can you get a back shot in that panther? Stay in the trees in case the Apollo decides he wants to uh, give you some loving. Alright, let's shoot this guy. My god, that medium laser is never going to hit. It hit the very beginning and then it hasn't hit since. Oh wait, we're on round 8, so there's two more rounds after this. Oh, beautiful, thank you. Hopefully that ECM is was there for salvage. We better start killing stuff or we're not going to get any salvage at all. Well, with the bushwhacker down, that's good. I wonder if we can get behind this Apollo. I'm very seriously thinking about taking out both the spider and the uh, commando or the uh, panther, I mean. Because I don't know if we can kill the Apollo in two turns. Like I could put a rocket burst on both those two light mechs. But they don't really have anything we want on them. Short of mech parts, I mean... We could take the mech parts, I guess. So just our fares on to go. Gotta try and find some pilot, uh, pirate planets too, because I want to try start picking up some more pirate gear if we can. Only problem with being in the uh, center of the inner sphere is that there's really not a lot of pirates. If we went to the like Torian Concordat and things like that. I'm sure we could find a lot of pirate pirate planets and do some pirate missions, but. Plus the way the map is now too, it's pretty pretty much divided. Such a bizarre looking map. It's like Clan Burak, Comstar, which whose space is like shrinking now. Um, who's left? Uh, Magistris, Magistry of Canopus. Uh, who else? Um, not a lot of people left. That's for sure. Tortuga Dominions own like half the inner sphere now. It's kind of crazy. Should really show you the map, <laughs> show you a good out outlooking of the map. Light damage, Commander. Yep. Light damage. Turn thirteen. Who do we got left? A backstabber. Who else? We got a turrets left still. Phase 13. We should have some vehicles left here. Yeah, sleep near should go. The carrier goes on 13. Who was that? Who was that? Alright, take the four points. As long as you're not shooting me. So the enforcer uh, didn't do anything this turn. I don't. Th we don't have the juice to pull any of these guys down over here. Not unless our team uh, does a lot of damage like that. That's nice. Was that a side hit or a front hit? Hard to tell. I think it was a front hit. I'm not sure what part of him took damage here. Alright, what do we do here? Oh man, I don't know if we're going to get any better chance to hit than that. Can we burrow? Let's 
get into here. I'm gonna switch this guy to the APFSDS, and we're gonna go full rockets on this guy. And let's see if we can kill him. Hammer him! Oh, pretty damn close. Have a seat, buddy. Long range missiles depleted. Oof, you almost took my nose off over here. Okay, good damage on that guy. Couldn't even hit him and he's lying down, eh? Okay, witness, where are you? Thirty-seven percent. That's worse than last time, isn't it? Now let's just hope we don't get shot by anybody on our side. All right, uh, let's crank this up. We're almost at the end. See what we can get out of this. Damn it. Yeah, critical hit. Yeah, but he ain't dead, man. He ain't dead. You gotta make him dead. You gotta make his family dead. You gotta be able to go over his house and burn it down and pish on his ashes. You know what I'm saying? Yes, Commander. Uh, alright. Now let's see... what this guy... So it's this side that's pretty badly damaged. So we're gonna do a firearm maneuver here. Let's attack this guy straight up. And firing. Target's taking a critical hit. Thank you. Thank you very much. On my way. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Don't know how much heat we applied. I should have checked that. Friggin' spider. So I'm hoping we get this Apollo. We might get the Enforcer if we're really, really lucky. Doesn't have much left. If our guys can hammer him hard this turn, we might get a chance to get him next turn. Okay, you are really out of position here, but let's get over here. It's terrible, eh? Still terrible. But it puts us in a better position to get some more guys on the left-hand side here next turn. So let's go after this guy. I want to explode this guy, so let's just go everything on him. Not everything, but you know what I mean. Let's go with these. Goes the torso. Got past the armor. Nope, not enough this turn. Although these guys might cr might uh, crush him. He's pretty badly damaged. Nice, perfect. Salvage. Okay, round 15. Who we got left? These guys here. Hitman finally making his way over here. Where is... Oh yeah, the linebacker got destroyed. I wonder if there's going to be any linebacker parts. He's doing a dirt nap right here. Hitman standing on his corpse. Really, huh? Uh, Not much left there. Yep. Not quite enough. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Let's just get over here. Might be a bad idea to turn my back to my own guys, but I got faith in them. I really shouldn't have faith. I should have a reasonable reasonable confidence level based on past experience that they're going to miss me. 
which I really shouldn't have because they've hit me more times than not at, at the worst possible times. All right, what a turn. We are still on phase 15. Okay, you're coming back. That guy could, that guy could, um, where is he? That commando, that Irania could uh, really make or break this whole match. Ooh, nice shots. All right, well, we got him. He killed his core, though. And double heat sink crit. Double heat sink kit crit, that is. We might not get a double heat sink kit out of that. I didn't know he had one, but all right. I'll take a damaged one over, over a non-damaged, well, over a nothing, that is. I'll take the non-damaged one, of course. Lost evasive. That quad gun's going to shred him if he decides to fire at him. Turn 12, who do we got? Sleep near. All right, that's all right. Yeah, man, keep it in that enforcer. NSS destroyed, beautiful. Didn't seem to be helping him the whole battle, but there you go. I gotta say, I'm really enjoying the revamp to the stealth. The fact that when an enemy is firing from a distance, they show up on the map briefly. Wow, one hit. It's a good thing I wasn't standing over here. I'm sure the other three would have been get, were right on me. Okay, what did he do? Lose an arm? Alright, we'll take it. Jumped yet? Destroyed? It could have been... I don't know where that could have been. Alright, let's finish this up. You got all your machine guns back. Full shot. Here it goes. Yes, thank you. Bang, you're dead. Oh shit's sake. <sighs> Ready for order. Sixty-nine. I don't want to get too close to this guy. Seventy-nine. Still 69. <sighs> All right, well, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed that these guys don't uh, screw us in this. All right, firing. Scored a critical hit. Well, he's panicking. Maybe he'll bail out. All right, we got arc light. We got witness left. Our our fares on. I mean, arc light might be able to make a push and go after the enforcer as well. And if we miss, maybe we get payback and hit one of their units. A Goss rifle. Do you have a Goss on the arm? Oh, that would be nice. Even a light Goss, Goss rifle would be nice, because if we get ammo for that... Oh, he's backing up. If we get ammo for that, we could switch out the... Uh, yeah, maybe we switch out the medium rifle for the light Goss, because I think the light Goss does 50 damage, if I'm not mistaken. And the ammo doesn't explode, so that's kind of a bonus. So one thing I don't, I'm kind of worried about with the Talos, the ammo being in the arm. If it explodes, we lose the whole arm, we lose the weapon. But what can you do? All right, how far can you move? Neither of these are going to be a kill. Although we do have the barrage. Yeah, my guy's like right there though.
Uh, let's not take too many chances. Yeah, we didn't get his head, but whatever. Didn't get his head, but that's fine. Roger. All right, let's see if our Farzan can claim this uh, this locust. Ah, uh, ten points. That's not bad. He's fifteen. What are we going? Thirteen. They still have a whole bunch of guys left. Be nice to see, like... What if you take a mission like this? I know we're at Warlord level, one and a half skulls. Take a mission like this, and then move your unit down the hill on the far side over here, and just sit there and do nothing. nothing to see here. You do absolutely nothing. And let's see if the defenders can actually stop them from taking those those uh, buildings down. It'd be interesting to see if that if that could happen. Because I mean, if these guys really wanted to, if they really pushed, they could take the buildings down. There wouldn't be anything we could do about it. See. Now, I don't think they can take down enough buildings at this point. Oh, I really want to use that barrage in this guy, but I'm not going to. Just going to fire these. Well, ah, one shot, one kill. Beautiful. Enemy mech destroyed. AC-10 ammunition depleted. It's nice having missions like this where it's fixed number of turns. You don't have to worry about running out of ammo. I try to make sure we have at least a minimum of 10 turns of ammo. I like 12. If I can get 15, great. But 12 turns is, you know, for most battles, that's kind of where you're at. 10 to 12 turns. I like that attack and defend mission, you know. That was a long time. We're almost done here. Phase 9. Come on, finish them off, guys. We didn't do too bad. We took out the main unit. We took out one of the side of defenders. And one of these guys got killed. We didn't do it, but... Nope, not enough. Not enough. Yeah, sure, sure. Shooting the guy that you haven't shot at before. <laughs> there it is, folks. Mission successful. Yeah, so we didn't get all the buildings, but that's fine. We got contract payment increased by 30%. That's a nice little chunk of change there. That's almost a full financial report. It took a little bit of damage, but not much. Jenner took a little bit. I think we took, we took some self-inflicted damage as well. All right, so we got one, two, three, four bushwhacker parts. Not quite enough. Jenner X parts. Yeah, okay, what do we got down here? AC-10 Myrmidon, 12 tons. It's pretty damn heavy. Heavy rifle, 8 tons. What's the damage? 60 damage. Recoil of 4. Requires ammo installed in the same location. That could be an upgrade. Light tag, LRM-15, long fire. Plus 60 to all range brackets. Oh! Medium heavy lasers. Wouldn't that be nice in the, nice in the Locust? That's a possibility. Medium X pulse. Plus one accuracy. I'm going to drop... Oh, MML 10 risks. What's the weight? Three tons. Flat 15% jam chance. Mitigated by gunnery. 
that's an immediate upgrade for the uh, <sighs> trebuchet. Tag Angel ECMs. Oh man. Endo composite cores XL engine. That's really nice. Can't afford that though. Artemis fire control. Is there any Artemis ammo down here? Look at that. Clan Ferro Fibers. That's really nice. Um, as much as I want the mech parts, I'm thinking that we got to take stuff down here. So there's no. Doesn't look like active probe, eh? Clan active probe. Stealth. Torso mounted cockpit. Plus one initiative. Why would it give you initiative? You'd think being in a head, you'd be able to see more. Plus 10 injuries resisted? Wow. That's bizarre. And then we're down to ammo. So we got LRM ammo. LRM swarm. Okay, so do we upgrade... I'm really seriously just taking stuff for the, uh, thinking about taking stuff for the um, trebuchet. The MMLs are really, really nice. It's the same weight right now as the SRM 6s. and we can use the ammo that we currently have in. So I could just drop both these in right now and leave it as it is. However, we're going to have a huge problem with ammo. We're going to have 10 turns of ammo fire and that's it. But I do have an extra, I think I have got an extra ton of SRM ammo that I could probably drop in. But these are, well, heat's only 13. That's actually less heat than the, um, that's less heat than the uh, SRM 6s, I think are 21. This medium X pulse would be really nice. Like this could go on the um, the one locust, but then it's all it's like an all or nothing. We get one one shot, and we either hit or we don't. Or. What is up here in the way of ballistic? A clan pharaoh is staring me in the face, guys. I like it because of the, the reduced amount of space. Pair of rocket pack 5, pair of rocket pack 15s. At low level, man, that's not 5 tons. That's 5 tons? Rocket. Oh, it's got 5 salvos, that's why. got five salvos. These must have come off the um, the bushwhacker. See this is nice too. It's not as nice as the X-Pulse though. I know the X-Pulse weighs an extra ton more. Less heat, more damage. The range is a little less, but not much. Light rifle does 30 damage. Heavy is 8 tons. Ugh. I'm torn. Angel ECM is nice. It's two tons, though. See, the problem is that we don't have a lot of weight to mess around with in our in our mechs. It's going to be dropping armor, right? Compact gyro. That'll save some space. We could use this in the um, Talos. But there's nothing to put in the Talos right now. We'll need it though, I think, when we go to double heat sinks. 
light active probe this is a half a ton might be worth getting this for the um, one of the uh, locusts Ooh, this is a tricky one guys stealth system How many rounds are in heavy rifle ammo? Five shots, eh? Light rifle Sabo. LRM Swarm. I mean, we could switch out. 25% long range missile damage. Area effect damage within 30 meters of impact. Additional area effect damage of 3 to primary and secondary targets. Minus 2 direct fire accuracy with long range missiles. I was thinking if we pull out a ton of SRM ammo from the trebuchet, the regular SRM ammo, and swatch, sw swap in the swarm LRM, then we could go Inferno SRM close range and swarm LRM LRM long range. Not sure if that's the right way to go though. Uh, it's a tough choice. Torso meta cockpit is also kind of nice. Four tons though. Four tons man. Four tons. Mmm. Artemis fire control system. I don't know. Okay, I gotta make a choice. What's it gonna be? Five tons for the rocket packs though. Too much. Take a medium heavy. Yeah, large is nice, but it's five tons. Alright, let's go this route. Okay, Apollo, Bushwhacker, Panther, and Jenner parts. Pair of rocket pack fives. These are one and a quarter tons. Five shots, five salvos. Fire control system improved. That's not bad. We can put that in something. Clad Pharaoh, nice. Oh, stealth armor. Fluid. LRM swarm. Beautiful. Okay. So now we've got a few things that we can uh, stick in our guys. All right. That's nothing for repairs. Beautiful. All right, guys. I am going to get the mechs and our pilots looked at between episodes. When we come back next time, we will take a straight up battle. Uh, one and a half skulls. See how we do. Uh, we've got enough um, gear and stuff now. Got some good funds. Although once we put some stuff in the max, we might not have a lot of funds. But <laughs> we might, we've got some good funds right now. So I don't have to worry about financial report for a couple of months anyway. Unless we get pasted in the next mission. But we'll see. All right. I'm going to end this episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.